Okay, so we've got a huge update today on Windows 10 on Raspberry Pi 4. I got this information from the Windows on Raspberry Pi Discord. Uh, Amir contacted me directly just to let me know that uh, a lot of changes have happened. So we now have Ethernet access. Uh, Ethernet works straight away uh, and has been working perfectly fine on this. So the web browser is working great. If I go to, uh, here we go, let BBC, I can scroll through and it scrolls really nicely. YouTube playback doesn't seem to work in this version of Chromium, um, but uh, it, all, it all comes up and everything, and everything runs really fast, but the video playback doesn't seem to be working. So maybe I'll try uh, installing Edge Browser or see if there's anything else that will work. So let's just minimize that and show you. Uh, so you can see there's a Raspberry here now, and it says that the model is a Raspberry Pi 4B. This has all been added in. Uh, and it also shows up here, you've got a website for online support. All this information has been added. You've also got a nice new mouse pointer as well. So let's just minimize that and go to performance and show you that it uses very little RAM uh, in use and CPU usage is very low. I found that everything launches really quick. So, you know, everything I've started up feels really nice. Uh, I've yet to try any games on it because it's so early, but uh, this is great news. So it's installed with the WOR tool, uh, which is here, which I've shown in my previous videos. One of the differences now that you can't download versions of Windows from here directly now. Uh, they just don't, they don't have any versions, it's just the tool. Uh, so if you head over to the Discord, uh, there will be a download of this version, which should be there by now. I don't know if, it, I don't know if he's added it yet, but uh, once it's there, you can download that, and then you can use this tool. To, to write the image. So there's only one more step that you need to do, uh, which is on a Windows 10 computer, uh, and you need to change a few files, and I'll, I'll show you how to do that at the end of this video. But, uh, but yeah, great work. Uh, I'll play around with it more and see what it does, but I'm really pleased with the speed of everything. It's really snappy, really nice to use, uh, and uh, in this early stage, it's already great. Okay, so first step is to join the Discord, uh, and there's a link in the description, accept the invite, and go to the download section where you'll find some images for Windows on Raspberry Pi. Uh, this image I use in this video is 0 0.2.5, uh, and uh, but it works on some of the older images as well. So once you've downloaded that file, and it'll be about four gig, it'll be quite a big file, uh, go to the Windows on Raspberry site, go to Downloads, Go to the latest download, you can see this alpha one for the Pi 4. Once that's downloaded, go to the location, and let's just minimize this. So create a new folder, call it WOR, and you need to unzip this into that folder. So let's drag everything into that folder. And that was pretty quick. So double click on the WOR folder and then you've got a WOR EXE. That'll open the launcher. There you go. So now you need to just follow the steps. So English, Raspberry Pi 4. So let's click on these three lines and you can see it shows up just the SSD drive at the moment. Let's refresh that. There you go. So my, you can see my SD card is there. So click on that and you can see that it shows there's enough space on there. Hit next. So click on here to navigate to the download of Windows that uh, you got from the Discord. And uh, basically you need to navigate to that file. Yours will be in your downloads folder more likely or on the desktop. Mine is on my server because I did this on another computer. So you would click on the image. I know this is an older one, but you'd click on the newer image that you've just downloaded and hit open. And it will detect and say that everything is okay. There you go, so you can see the image is good. Hit next. Use the latest package available on the server, so that will download the very latest package. And this is important because this is what accepts the uh, 8 gig. Accept any licenses and hit next. Use the latest firmware available on the server and hit next. Just verify that everything looks okay on there and then hit next. And then the last thing you need to do is hit install. Okay, so once that's finished, pull out your SD card and then pop it back into your Windows computer and you should get two folders sharp like this. Go down to the bottom, type in CMD and then run as administrator. And this is your command prompt. There's some text I'll put in the description uh, and you can see it here. The main thing is to change the letter. You can see here my boot drive is R. 
So that letter H you need to change to R. Just to show you it there, so my boot drive is changing to R and that's just going to change a little file on the system. So let it do that and you can see it says this operation completed successfully. And that's it. Now we can pop the SD card in the pipe. Okay, so you need to be quick on this bit. As soon as you see the Raspberry press escape uh, and it will boot into this menu. Okay, now select device manager, Raspberry Pi configuration. I usually change the display and just select 720 and uncheck native resolution. Hit escape, go to advanced, limit RAM to three gig disabled. That's how you get your eight gig. Uh, press escape, press Y to save and exit and then keep pressing escape until you get to this bit. Hit continue and enter to reset. Okay, so when Windows loads up, uh, you would do the normal bit where you accept all the licenses, create a password and so on. I'm just gonna log into mine, uh, just to show that everything works really nice and quick. Uh, and all things like the notification center, uh, all the settings and things like that uh, work really pretty well. Uh, considering it's running from an SD card, it's pretty impressive. Now, I've been playing around with it and it does crash every now and then and things like Steam uh, work, so I've just double clicked on Steam, but uh, they don't run as well as the three gig version. So the three gig version that we had before is more stable and better for video and audio and just overall performance. It's weird because some things feel really snappy on the eight gig. Uh, version, but obviously it's very early days, so it's this is not a criticism. Uh, it's amazing to see 8 gig supported, and obviously as time goes on, uh, things like these little bugs and things can be ironed out. But video performance, I installed Firefox, but it didn't work well at all. Uh, I've installed the Edge browser. Uh, you can see that Steam's disappeared now. Oh, it's come up again. Right, so if I just uh, log into, I don't know what my password is. I think it's this txm9x txm9x just to show the whole process and how it works in real time. Uh, I am definitely I'm definitely impressed with it uh, at this stage, but uh, but it's still if you're going to use it on a regular basis, you'd probably stick with the three gig one for now. But then you end up having to use Bluetooth Internet or USB Ethernet adapters. So you know there's there's a convenience thing about having the Ethernet, which is great. Uh, so Steam's disappeared. It's come back on. Uh, it's weird because some things definitely work really, really well uh, and feel really snappy and it almost surprises me at how quick certain things come up uh, and then every now and then it will just crash. Like if I try and play um, Super Crate Box, I don't know why the icon has disappeared again. Uh, it, um, so if I go, you can see games comes up. The installing things and unzipping and things like that actually works really well. So all of this uh, is quite impressive, really. So definitely, this has run much slower on previous versions of this and things like with you know with all this artwork and things like that. Uh, it's weird with uh, the fact that video doesn't work on anything I've tried. It just kind of freezes and doesn't show. But if you go to something like the Windows Store and uh, you call up a game on there, it will start playing the video from the game. So it's obviously a different format, a different way of playing it. But um, it's, uh, yeah, it's interesting that, that little things are different like that. So yeah, I think that came up actually quite quick, really. Uh, that was quite impressive. So if I was to click on Roblox, I think I've clicked on it. Yeah, I have. Uh, and by the way, the, the mouse pointer does various different things at different stages. Uh, it's got lots of different animations, so you see here it changes to a finger. But if I do certain things, it, uh, it's got all sorts of colors and effects and things like that when things are loading. There you go, so, oh, is it not gonna show? Oh, there you go, so there's video behind this. How do I get to that? What happens if I try and, so if I try and play that video, I think it probably won't, I oh, know it is playing it, but very jerky. And has it stopped? Yeah, see it's playing that, but very slow. But other things that go on in the background, see that this, you can see it's very low res, but every now and then it plays at the right speed and it seems to be all right. 
Okay, so let's see if I can make this crash uh, because it might help the Discord if they see uh, what Windows reports. So if I try Steam, right click on that, Super Crate Box, let's click on that and it will crash, I think. Oh, this is weird because it, it has already installed this. It got all the way to the end and it seemed to have worked. So let's try the other bit uh, that makes it crash, which is TV Player. Because I figured if I tried some other video playing app, this is like a streaming app for the UK, uh, this usually crashes it. So let's see if this is going to work this time. Oh, it's all right at the moment. Let's hit log in. Right, let's try that and see if this crashes it. It's almost like something gets overloaded and it says something about memory. So is it going to do it in this case? Isn't it amazing when you want to, when you want something to actually mess up, it doesn't mess up. So let's try, try that. Oh, I'm going to have to try a channel that's not BBC then. Yeah, still doing the same with video, even though this is a streaming service, so it's a different way of doing it. It's still doing exactly the same thing where, oh, it's trying to play it. You can see that it every now and then it, it, uh, it jerks a little bit. Right, so that didn't crash it. So let's try that game again. Let's install that game. Because uh, all of this, installing things from the App Store, has been really quick, really surprisingly quick. Right, Steam is now downloading. You can track the progress. Right, so if I click on... Oh, here we go. Finish downloading. So hit play. Is it going to crash? Oh, it's only working, isn't it? I wonder if it's because I had a controller plugged in. I, I had a, um, a Stadia controller plugged in earlier on. Is this actually going to work? Uh, oh, you have to go for tutorial. <laughs> actually works all right, look. Uh, it's a bit slower than it should be. But uh, yeah, I didn't have this working before. So I wonder what's changed as to why. So I've now got a Steam version playing. Oh, here we go. Here's a crate. So now I should have a weapon. Oh, but it's not X. So, oh yeah, X is fire. Oh. There you go. So anyway, you can see that's working, which I, I was, this was me trying to crash it. Never goes the way you want it to go. Right, so let's quit out of that. I think that maybe was a bit faster than before. Uh, so let's close that down. The GTA doesn't work. It needs a patch, so I won't do that. Let's try and play a video in VLC. Uh, and also audio, didn't get any audio out of the HDMI or the... Um, the three and a half mil socket, but it uh, I think it does work with Bluetooth audio uh, because I've used that on previous versions, so I could plug that in. So let's try, I've got a 1080 file on a USB stick, which is plugged in here. Here we go, it's come up. Oh, it's trying to play it. It's just not doing too bad a job, is it? We've got some weird uh, bits changing, but uh, uh, well, this it seems to have settled down a bit. I can't really play too much of this, and that's meant to flash like that. Yeah, that actually looks all right, doesn't it? See, the web browser works fine. Look, if I if I was to, it's weird because it, if you have a specific task for Windows 10, you might find this version is better, but some things aren't as good. So it does crash more, but there are certain things you can do for ages and yeah. it seems to cope with it well. You can see that the, the uh, browser is lovely and smooth. Okay, so I can't seem to get it to crash. I've been trying, trying for quite a while um, doing all sorts of things and uh, it doesn't seem to be struggling. So processes, let's show what's going on in the background here. 
all sorts of things going on in the background. Uh, if we go to performance, the CPU usage is very low, the memory is still pretty low as we've got 8 gig now. Let's try running Chromium and see if I can get this to crash. Let's try this first. Ready to pair. Yeah, I think I'll turn off my Bluetooth speaker. So I'm struggling with audio uh, in this build. So there's lots of good reasons to go for the 3 gig version. Um, but obviously the 8 gig is such a good thing and uh, and will be supported at some point. Uh, so let's just click on one of these and see if we can get it to play. Click on into the video. Yeah, this is, this is what it does really. It just, it seems to, I wonder if I press, because you, you know you can press, if I press 5 it goes 50%, 20%, 80%, 80% into the video. So you can see it shows the first bit of it. 30%, 40%, pause it, play it. No definitely doesn't work so let's try it in chromium as well and I tried turning off hardware support thinking that maybe it was something to do with that but that didn't seem to fix it let's just click on a video it's weird because it starts off and it shows the thumbnail but if you click and if you click into the video you can see it's there but it just doesn't play it whatever you do just doesn't play it so if I press 5 to go 50% into the video 7 to go 70% everything is snappy and fast it's just not playing it okay so anyway uh, it's not perfect at this stage uh, if you want something that you would use and install games and apps on you're probably better to stick with the previous version the 3 gig version uh, because that was overall better um, but it's really nice to see 8 gig on this. So great work to everybody involved. Uh, I know a lot of people are getting involved in this uh, Discord now. There's a lot of members in there. So if you come up with any solutions or any tr tips or tricks to make video play or anything like that, uh, obviously you can either put it in my comments or join the Discord. Uh, there's always people in the Discord and it's worth sharing with them because they'll be able to implement it in a later build of Windows 10. So let's see if we can get this to crash. Okay, so I've got pretty much everything I can think of running on here, and it's still not crashing. Uh, so me saying it's not very stable, uh, it looks like it is a lot better than it was. Uh, already it seems to be, maybe it's because it's been rebooted a few times. Uh, let's see, if I, if I put this on, it'll start trying to play whatever video is associated with the game. I think, yeah, it's doing something in the background there. I can go into Super Crate Box. And that's still working. If I press the Windows key while that's running, I can go to uh, Edge Browser. I can click on a story. I can also call up YouTube on this. Can't believe I can't get it to crash. Okay, so I left it running for really quite a while uh, with all these tabs open. Uh, it still didn't get to playing the video. Um, but uh, it also didn't crash. Weirdly, my screen capture device uh, stopped working and uh, I've just formatted the memory card in this and it formatted it absolutely fine. So it's still running. It's still uh, what we've got. Uh, so CPU usage is still low. The memory is still uh, reasonable for the amount of things that are open. So yeah, it's uh, definitely promising things. Uh, and I still can't get it to crash. It's a shame. If I find the error, I will put it in the description. But as you can see, everything is moving around and uh, it's just the video thing. If that can be sorted, uh, then we're on to a winner. All right, so thanks very much to everybody involved and thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.